Awesome. Is it beautiful? Yep. Be quiet. I'm sorry. We're here today to commemorate the service of Revolutionary War Patriot James Johnson. We're place an SAR marker on his grave today as well. Appreciate you all coming out and sharing the ceremony with us. Please feel free to take as many pictures as you want of the area, color guard. And after I deliver the invocation, color guard will come forward. Before that, I'd like to read one scripture from Hebrews chapter 11. Many of you may know that that's known as the faith chapter, but to me it's known as the heroes chapter because there are a lot of heroes in it, a lot of war heroes. Gideon, Barak, David, Samuel. And in verse 34, it talks about those soldiers of God and said they quenched the violence of fire they escaped the edge of the sword out of weakness were made strong became valiant in battle they turned to flight the armies of the enemies and today we're here to memorialize James Johnson and all of his compatriots in the Revolutionary War because they did put to flight an army of the enemy would you bow with me, please? Dear loving God, as we gather here today, our hearts are full of memories of friends and comrades who served under arms in the great wars of this country. We come to remember those who fell in battle and those who, while they did not die, offered their bodies, their minds, their hearts, and energy to fight for a better world. We especially come to remember James Johnson, the Revolutionary War soldier who fought with our forebears for the freedoms that we enjoy today. Bless his descendants and all of us who enjoy the freedoms he helped win. We ask, Lord, that you would grace us with your presence, that you would help us always, that you would hear our prayers and have regard for our thoughts this day. Bless us and bless all those who gave the best of themselves for our country. We ask in the name of our Creator, Savior, and the Sustainer of all. Amen. 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 Color guard, post colors. Will everyone please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, 
with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all for joining us today. My name is Andy Doss. I'm the immediate past president of the Colonel George Waller chapter of the Sons of the American Revolution. I would like to thank all the guests, the Fincastle Resolutions chapter, and the Daniel Green chapter, Patrick Henry chapter, Daughters of the American Revolution, General Joseph Martin chapter, DAR, and representatives of the 2nd North Carolina Regiment of the Continental Line. Most especially, I wish to welcome the descendants of James Johnston who have come out to share in this event with us today. I would like to take this time now to introduce our guest speakers. First of all, we will hear from the Honorable Don Merricks. Delegate Merricks represents the 16th District, which this area is a part of. He has served this district faithfully and tirelessly for several years, and we thank him for taking time out of his busy schedule to join us today. Then next, we'll have Ms. Esther Lewicki, who is the current Regent of the General Joseph Martin Chapter DAR, and she'll share some thoughts as well. We appreciate you helping us today. We'll then hear from Mr. Bob Vogler, who is the current president of the Colonel George Wilder Chapter, SAR. Mr. Merricks. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm honored and humbled to be here today. To be quite frank, this is my first experience at one of these great marking ceremonies, and I'm thinking back how great it must be to be a part of this. I'm going to have to do some family searching in my own family. <laughs> uh, my wife and I just built a house a couple years ago on a family farm. I've been in my mother's family since 1763. And I would think if you go back that far, somebody's bound to be somewhere along the way. So I need to do some checking. I got to thinking, uh, and I'll be very brief, I, I, people who give their, their service to serve. And you, I look back, my dad was in World War II. He was in the infantry. Uh, my nephew just served a year in Iraq. Uh, came back. When, when you go back further to the revolution, it took a tremendous amount of courage to do what those men did. And and I'm I'm wow, uh, the family is so gracious here in the, in the grave site to honor uh, Sergeant Johnston. You can imagine what it was like back in those days to serve and wonder where in the world you were going. We didn't have technology like we didn't have GPS. But one thing we did have, and one thing we still have today, is God on our side. And I really thank God it was a divine providence that things worked out the way they did. And I'm just thankful for brave men and women who took the challenge, such as Sergeant Johnson did, and had the courage to stand up. And I commend him, and I commend you all, and I'm so thankful I could be a part here today. Thank you very much. Never forget the sacrifice these 
patriarchs made. And we must always keep in mind and keep alive the spirit of our great American Revolution. I'm going to be disappointed if I don't have a hip hip bizarre uh, <laughs> friend back here. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be slighted. My name is Bob Vogler, and I'm the current uh, president of the Colonel George Wallace chapter. Why are we here? The Sons of the American Revolution, uh, one of its primary goals is to perpetuate the memory of American Revolution patriots for their sacrifice and for their service. The Colonel George Waller chapter was founded in 1953, and it's one of 500 chapters of the Sons of the American Revolution. We have chapters, of course, in the United States, Canada, Germany, France, Switzerland, and the most, the, the most recent chapter, Spain. Uh, if you remember, the Spanish were our allies along the Mississippi. And, and Descendants of Spanish soldiers who served in current New Mexico and Arizona are eligible for membership. We, we, we on, on the eastern colonies, forget the contributions of those in the West. The SAR is the leading male lineage society that continues the ideals of the American Revolution. We are a historical, educational, and patriotic organization, and we seek to maintain the meaning of patriotism respect for our national symbols and the value of American citizenship. We remember the unifying words of, of, the, of our country, e pluribus unum. From many people and many nations was formed one people and one nation, the United States. One of our goals, is, as I mentioned earlier, is to perpetuate the service of individuals who served the country <coughs> in, in those dark hours of 1776 to the actually mid 1780s. Therefore, we gather here today to commemorate the military and patri patriotic service of Sergeant James Johnson. Thank you for family for letting us be here today. Thank you, speakers. <laughs>